Welcome to our video on how to create your first active report, where you will learn how to choose a template and theme, add data, add a visualization, set the data format for a measure, copy and paste, add a data drop-down list for filtering, and create a connection. An active report is a type of report output that is interactive, portable, and self-contained. Users can download an active report and use it offline to explore their data. We're going to go through the steps to recreate the Get Started Sample My First Active Report, which will allow users to explore time use information by gender in a variety of categories, filtered interactively by education level. To create an active report, click the New icon and select Report. On the resulting Templates tab, select 2x2 two two Active Report. Click the Themes tab, select Cool Blue, and click OK. To add data, click the plus icon and select Team Content, Get Started, Data, American Time Use, and click Open. This data is from a previously uploaded file. To add a visualization, click the first plus icon in the top row and select Visualization. Select Pi to filter the list and click OK. Click OK to accept the defaults. To populate the visualization with data from the data panel, open the tree and drag Daily Minutes Worked into the Values slot, drag Gender into the Categories slot, and drag Education Level, which we'll use to create a filter, into the Extra Categories slot. Select Daily Minutes Worked and click the Data Format icon in the Context Toolbar. Set the format type to Number, Enter 1 for the number of decimal places, and click OK. Select Gender, click the Sort icon in the Context Toolbar, and select Ascending. Select the Pi Visualization, open the Properties, select Color Palette, and click the drop-down arrow beside it. Select the sixth color palette. Set the Height and Width properties both to 300. Close the properties. Above the Pi visualization, double click the title placeholder, type Working, and click OK. At the top of the report, double click the report title placeholder, type Education Level, and click OK. The next steps are what will make the report interactive. To add a drop down to filter the visualization, open the Toolbox panel. Expand the Active Report section and drag a data drop down list to the right of the report title. Click OK to accept the defaults. Open the data panel again and double click Education Level to add it to the data drop down list. Next, connect the drop down to the Pi and create a filter. To do that, click the Create a New Connection icon for the data drop down list. Change the behavior to Filter and rename the active report variable to V Education Level. This means that the data drop down list will filter the Pi based on whatever value is contained in the V Education Level variable. Click Connect. To give the drop down filter a default value so it isn't empty when you first run the report, open the Queries panel, click the Active Report Variables tab, open V Education Level, and click Set Default Values. In the resulting dialog, select High School, click the arrow to add it to the selected values box, and click OK. Now, add three more Pi visualizations. Select the first Pi, click the More icon in the Context toolbar, and click Copy. In each of the three empty table cells, click to select the cell, click the More icon, and select Paste. You can also select the cell and click Ctrl V. In the new visualizations, double click the title placeholders and edit them to Volunteering, Job Searching, and Television. Click Pi number 2, then open the data panel and drag Volunteering from the data panel to replace Daily Minutes Worked. Click Pi number 3 and replace Daily Minutes Worked with Job Searching, and set Television as the measure for Pi number 4. You do not need to make any modifications to the original connection between the drop down filter and the three new Pi visualizations because the filter variable was copied with the visualization. To test the new report, 
Click Run Options and select Run Active Report. The report will open in a new browser tab. Try changing the drop-down to filter the pies and watch them all update. Congratulations! You have just learned how to create your first active report. If you go back to the first tab, you can save the report into My Content and open it up again later. Thank you for watching this video on how to create your first active report. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.